Hi everyone, in this uh, Tips by Chris video, we're going to be showing you how to change your font, uh, your styles, uh, either bold it or make it larger or using your um, different header styles that you can make differences there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and log into our site, starting with going into our wp-admin, and once we're in, we will be going to our first page here. Um, Let's go into a post. We have our test post already up here, but let's go ahead and create a brand new post. So we'll create a brand new one, and we're going to call this something simple like how to change or edit fonts. Okay, and with that, we're going to just go ahead and type out a, a simple phrasing. Um, this is my header. Uh, this is my body text. Uh, this is something I would like to bold, uh, and this is other things I want to do, like linking. Okay, so we have our four lines here, and basically if we publish this now, we will see what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now go to our screen here. This is my Internet Explorer. If we refresh this, we will then see what it looks like, how to change the fonts, my header, my body, my text. This is just the basic what our post looks like. So let's go ahead and now do some changes. So let's starting with the header. What we want to do is we want to make this a big header, uh, the front side. What I want to show you is your screen may already have this, but a lot of you may not if this is the first time that you're getting used to uh, WordPress. But there is a the kitchen sink is what they call this, but this last icon here, now you must be in the visual tab, so make sure you're on the visual tab here, and then you're going to click on this, and you'll see now the editor to do things much like Microsoft Word. So we're going to do this, and what I want to do is change this to my header 1. Now this becomes my header 1 text, as you notice it's bold, if I click on it, it changes automatically. If I want to say this is the body of my text, we're going to lead this, but let's go ahead and uh, make a header 2. Uh, section header 2. Typing is not doing good today. Okay, so we're going to go, let's go ahead and actually move these down. Header 3, and this will be header 2. Let's delete this up. And we're going to make this a header 2, so we can select that. Now, header is something that, header 2 is like not the main header, because you only want to have really one header 1 on any page. And then we're going to make this a header 3, so it has some kind of bold, so you can see the differences there. Uh, and what I want to do is this is something I would like to bold. So I'll select this, and this is my bold. And I'll be able to bold it here. If I want to italicize it as well, I could click this, and it'll italicize it. So you have a slant to it now. Uh, if I want to underline it, I can also underline it by clicking here, and I've highlighted the bold to underline, so that shows up there. So let's update that and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so it's updating now. Then we see it flash, so we go here and we'll now see the differences. This is my header, header 2, and the bolding. Now go ahead and change the different things, even the color. Uh, make it brick, red there. We can also now, now if we want to link, so let's go ahead and let's link this word out. We're going to hyperlink that by clicking here and typing in our our home address here. Um, let's see, oh, let's do tipsbychris.com and we can add a little title here. A title is actually really good because it also gives a little search engine optimization or helps Google know what this is. So this is a link to tipsbychris.com homepage and I'll see I'll show you what that does. Now if you wanted to open up in a new tab you can click on that as well. We can click there and you notice it's blue then we'll go ahead and publish this so we have a red text here and we have our headers and you'll see the differences coming up here and we will now go ahead and take a look so let's refresh this so you notice now the link is linking here bold we have this in red but the other thing I want to notice I want you to notice is that titling is so if I put my mouse over this the title um, shows up as this is a link to tips by Chris and if we click on it it'll then take you to my homepage of tipsbychris.com. 
so that's how the the linking works and this is how you can do it. now the other thing that you might want to do which uh, will take a little bit of HTML coding is the ability to change like the font size right on the screen you can do that but that's gonna be a different lesson from now on so that concludes actually how to do your editing on your text if you want more information go ahead and add your comments below of any questions that you might have Chris at um, tipsbychris.com and thanks for watching